Right, so the first thing that he did is he's got his uh, pieces. I've measured these to be 13 centimetres, though I did cut a little bit away each end, so they're probably nearer to 12. What he did first was he squeezed and pinched the end that was going next to the pot. Then he put a really good globule of slip. Then he worked out his positioning of the top part. And then he, oh, no, sorry, I'm trying to show you and it might not work. Right, then he puts the, gets that to be the pressure. Get that stuck on there a bit first. And we are putting that, just putting a bit of pressure on the underneath here. So what he does is he then, blends the top of the into position, letting that slip go off. And then he's looking at making sure that his handle is going into the right place. And he is pressing the slip onto the pot. And he's just putting a little bit of pressure down at the bottom here. And then he's getting a wet sponge. Well, one of these ones works well. And he's then clearing it up. Now this is Lava Flex, so it's a highly, it's a grout clay. So it's a bit more Annoying. He then was going. I've got a bit of a crack there. Interestingly enough, I haven't covered these handles for a minute, so maybe I'll get them covered again. I'm just going to see that that and then what I've got is I've got a little brush. And I'm just making sure everything everywhere and that is that done And that is the quickest using his technique and the most precise that I've actually ever managed to get. Um, handles on. Now these are quite soft still. I'll just make sure that is backed around and that's another one done. So have another look at another one okay let's check we're in in the, in the so we can see right okay so again you can choose a handle i've made i made quite a few of them to be fair and we're going to they are a little bit harder than when i was doing them earlier on today Squash that down a bit. So I've got a flat area. And make sure that's the right shape for us. Nice big globules of slip. Make sure that's not a lump. Okay. Place it onto my mug. Time to uh, 
and I can also put that other bit on while we wait for that to holding the inside of the pot to really make sure that I'm not going to lose any put too much pressure put a little, he puts quite he puts a bit of pressure in the bottom of the bottom one and, uh, We've got a really good connection with that one but he's not scratching and scoring the other thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna cover these up in a minute so I'm gonna let them dry a bit slower um, got my rag That's what he does, just make sure that they're around the edges, around the outside, all the edges. I'm going to get my cleaned off brush. And then what I was doing there as well is I was just giving it a little bit of a push up. And obviously you can see I've moved that, but I can get that shape back by just giving it a bit of a that's another one done. the shape on that one some people have um shapes that are already pre marked pre like for example this and they they put them into the top of their pot to get everything round but i don't have that Cover the back ones up. A lot of people should have um, thicker plastic actually, and probably that's. But what I don't want is, I think what he thinks is he doesn't want them to dry too quickly. Do one more. This one's a bit more substantial. That other one was very thin. I, I have carved these down on the outside. Um, Thing I noticed actually when I cut these I've got a knife here that I've sharpened when I've cut these I'm slightly bigger on on one side than the other which is why I think that's better okay I'm gonna put a little bit of a pressure on the bottom piece and we're going to pinch across the top piece Length, plenty of slip. Have a look at my positioning.
Okay. First time I've done this and um, yeah, very pleased with the result. the fireworks and just just making sure everything so what this means is that's took one of the jobs out of the um one of the jobs out of the the process and if you get it at the right time of course the next thing will be just to make sure they are all right the rim one more left Trimmed them. I think this was the most important bit that I saw him do. He had them all cut, ready. But it was the fact that he'd done this really nice flat plate. And then... Um, he didn't really do anything to the bottom bit. And that's softened up by now, you see, because of the... Okay. Making sure that's got a nice 
see all there. There you go. Cover the last that's nine done. There is a video of me making them, I'm just finishing. That is really a bit sped up because it's quite a lot. Of... Okay, just let that have a bit of humidity overnight and, and not dry them too quickly. And uh, watch this space, see how that is in the morning. I hope that helps some of you.